Hello everybody, this is Elamont, founder of i30 Media Corporation and author of the Lean Media book, blog, and video channel available from leanmedia.org. Today we'll be talking about using the Shopify mobile app to change a product description's title. Okay, uh, quick disclaimer, you're responsible for following Shopify's terms and conditions and it's also possible for you to lose money, do this at your own risk. So what we have here is the Shopify mobile app um, you should see something like this or maybe something similar to it because I know that uh, Shopify has been experimenting with changing the home page. But what you want to do is click on the icon that says products, which here, and this is the uh, iPhone, the iOS version of the Shopify app is at the bottom of the screen. So tap products. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the title of a product uh, because it says something in it that is no longer true. So you can find the product using a couple different methods. One is to look at recently updated products. The other one is to tap all products and then start searching for them. And then the third way is just to use the search function. And if you have a lot of products, this may be the way to go. Note also you can scan the barcode, but I don't have the barcode candy, so uh, handy. So I'm just going to type genetic because I know the product. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. Type genetic. Yeah, and here it is. So you can see the title of this product is new genetic genealogy triangulation kit. Um, and then it kind of scrolls off there. What I want to do is I want to remove the new from the title. And what you do is under right at the top of the screen uh, where it says title right below that, just tap it and that will let you get into the text. And then you have to kind of move around and move the cursor until it's right where you want to uh, either start typing or start deleting. So I'm going to start deleting using the miniature keyboard, the uh, backspace button, and I'm going to get rid of that. So I just, I just erased new. If I wanted to, I could also do other things. Like I could, um, like, let's say that I think that this, that this, uh, the, the name of this product is too long. I could delete triangulation. Um, maybe I could add some other descriptions in there, but whatever you want to do, just make the changes right on the screen here and then tap the save, the save button or text, which is in the, in this, uh, in this version of the app is in the upper right corner. So I'm going to tap save. It'll take a few seconds to do that. It says product saved at the bottom. Do you see that? Now let's go to the browser and find it. Where is it? Okay, so this is this is my website on the mobile browser, easygenie.org, and let's find that particular product. And you can see that we're getting quite a few sales on Shopify because I'm getting all the notifications. So I'm scrolling through my shop, and there it is, uh, genetic genealogy triangulation kit. So here's the product. And if you scroll down, you can see new is no longer there. For more information on how to get the most out of uh, Shopify, Amazon Seller Central, Amazon KDP, a whole bunch of other programs that I use for my business to sell things, go to leanmedia.org and uh, check out the, the uh, video channel that's available there or the blog that's available there. Um, also, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like it or follow me on YouTube. Um, you can see more of my materials on leanmedia.org. As I said before, thank you so much for watching. This is Ian Lamont signing off.